foreign matter is a big part of food forensics. I mean, you, most would be covered by plastic, glass, and metals. So for example, if you had a thumbtack or a needle or, or something like that, a pin, you would look at it, obviously, the simple measurements, like its dimensions and so forth, compare it to what's commercially available, uh, analyze its um, composition, what kind of metals is it, where, where are these available, and one of the big concerns from manufacturers and suppliers is whether the product was actually baked into their bread or so forth because that, that leads to liability. Who is responsible? Is this a malicious complainant inserting something sharp and horrible into your loaf of bread? Or was it actually baked in and therefore the, a, a problem for the manufacturer themselves? We frequently get complaints about suspect rodent droppings. It's often hard to tell that, for example, from a, from a bit of burnt grease or something. But when you look at it under the microscope, you'll find, because um, it's facial material from rodents, it contains their hair because they are grooming and consuming their own hair when, when they do this. And under the microscope, the hairs are very characteristic. They've got a, a very patterned medulla. It looks like a ladder.